welcome to my channel. This is a place where hopefully you can be encouraged and inspired by plant-based vegan recipes that are both delicious and satisfying. So today's topic is something that I wish I would have found out a long time ago when we started our plant-based vegan journey, and that is an ingredient called aquafaba. Aquafaba is just the brine that's in a can of chickpeas and it has so many uses. It is pretty much an egg replacement and it really mimics the eggs whites more specifically. It has the same viscosity and it honestly is the best mock for the egg whites. Also, if you don't plan on using all the juices, the, you can actually freeze the aquafaba into like maybe like an ice cube tray um, and put it in the freezer, just pop out a cube for whenever you need to use it. The measurement conversion for an egg for aquafaba would be the yolk of an egg is one tablespoon of aquafaba. For the whites of an egg, it is two tablespoons or if a recipe calls for a whole egg, you wanna add together the yolk and the whites and you have three tablespoons. So let me first show you where my life became shook when I realized that I could make homemade mayonnaise in five minutes with the juices from a can of chickpeas and a few other ingredients. So let's make that together. To get started on this recipe, we are simply going to put all of our ingredients except for the oil into a mason jar. And what you're gonna do next is you're just going to go ahead and pulse it a few times for about a minute, I would say, just to get the aquafaba nice and frothy. Then you will go ahead and slowly start adding in your oil. The recipe does call for three-fourths cup to a cup of oil. This is all just based on preference of how thick you want your mayonnaise to be. The more oil you add, the thicker it will become. I'll have the full recipe for that mayonnaise linked below. I typically prefer to use a um, like extra virgin olive oil. Today I did use a sunflower oil just as like a test and it was not that great to be honest, but that's all I had so we will still utilize it. And this is such a great mayonnaise y'all. Like I made this for Thanksgiving when we made our potato salad. Um, I subbed it out um, in my chickpea salads. So you just mince or like kind of smash up your chickpeas, add in some like curry powder, some fresh veggies and some of that mayonnaise. And this mayonnaise, honestly, it reminds me more of the Hellman's, the, the all natural Hellman's mayonnaise. In my opinion, this is what it's closest to. And I do believe though, if you add a little bit more vinegar, it is closer to Duke's, because I think Duke's is a little bit more vinegary. And then if you are that Miracle Whip person, then just add in a splash of your favorite sweetener. This mayonnaise will last in the fridge for about a week. So if like a holiday's coming up or something, just go ahead and make a regular size batch because you can make um, potato salad or pasta salad or any kind of dip, any salad. Okay, even salad dressing. This makes a bomb um, honey mustard dressing and all you have to do is add Dijon and a little bit of maple syrup and it is so delicious. The next way that I use aquafaba, aquafaba on the regular is in pancakes. So I was trying to perfect the pancake. I'm trying to limit out the amount of flour. So I have subbed out about a third of flour for um, home. I like actually will mill down some oatmeal and make like oat flour. And it was, they were always like flat, like droopy, flat, or like super thick, heavy pancakes. And I never could get it right until aquafaba came into my life. So these pancakes are absolutely delicious. I am not putting the whole recipe for these because I really think I'm gonna do a whole breakfast segment. But you can definitely see that these pancakes hold up. They're super fluffy. The outside actually has like, this like crispy layer on the outside that actually like you know what let me insert a sound this is um i don't know if you guys have ever watched food wishes on youtube but he always does this sound test with the fork so let me insert my sound test yeah. 
Yeah, see, I told you, it's crazy. So they're super fluffy, they have a nice little crunchy rim on the outside, they are perfectly delicious. And because I'm feeling generous, I wanted to show you, once you've drained out that can of aquafaba, and now you just have a bunch of empty cans of chickpeas because you've been making all the things with your aquafaba, I'm gonna share with you my favorite hummus. I have been working on perfecting this, and by that, I mean, I've made it like three times and it's already perfect, so I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> so I will show you and share this recipe with you guys on how to make hummus, and this is going to be a sun-dried tomato hummus. It is absolutely delicious. Open a can of chickpeas, make hummus out of the garbanzo beans, Use a little bit of the liquid if you want to thin it out. Use the rest to make you some mayonnaise or some pancakes or even some meringue or those little meringue cookies because you can literally do all, you can make a gin sour, I think that's what you call them, a gin sour, which I've never had that because it kind of grosses me out thinking about having a raw egg on it, but you know what? I might have to try one now that I know I can use aquafaba. Here are all the ingredients that we're gonna use for our sun-dried tomato hummus. You're gonna need some granulated garlic, some tahini. This is uh, tahini that I actually order off of Amazon and I really liked it because it's um, whole sesame seeds so it doesn't have as bitter of a flavor and it's really creamy. Then you're gonna use some sun-dried tomatoes in oil. So there are some sun-dried tomatoes that are not in oil, but you're gonna to wanna to use this oil for our recipe. Then for our acidity, we're gonna use some lemons, and then obviously we're gonna be using some garbanzo beans. To get started on this recipe, the first thing you're gonna do is add everything to the blender. It's a really simple process. This would probably be a lot easier if you actually used a food processor because I feel like it would distribute more evenly. I had to continually keep using my agitator wand and like keep pushing the hummus down. And I also had to add three quarter cup of water just to get it moving a little bit more. So I would say kind of just base this amount of water based on if you can get your hummus moving smoothly and the consistency that you like. To serve on top of the sun-dried tomato hummus, I made this Mediterranean salad, which was just cucumbers, tomatoes, some cilantro, some oregano, and then I did add in some julienne pieces of the sun-dried tomato as well, and then I just topped this all right on top of the hummus, and I did drizzle a little bit more of the oil from the sun-dried tomato jar. I like to serve my hummus up with some warm pita that I just hit on the grill for a few seconds. Really high heat, that way it kind of gets those nice little char lines on it. Um, you can always serve this up with like pretzels or like a veggie tray. Um, I love having hummus available to make like a quick veggie sandwich. This is like a great spread to add on anything. Um, you can do so much and it also adds really good protein to anything. So this is gonna help keep you like satiated as well as a lot of fiber. So. I mean, I don't think you can really go wrong with hummus or chickpeas in general, or the chickpea juice, aquafaba. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing how you could utilize a whole can of aquafaba, and I hope that you will try one of these recipes, and I look forward to sharing with you guys my voluptuous, fluffy aquafaba pancakes in the future. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified when I post a new video, and be sure to comment, y'all, because it, it is, takes a lot of effort for me to make these videos. I have four kids running around the house all the time, and most of the time, I do not have my hair together or my face. Like, I literally will get dressed uh, to make a video for you guys. In fact, a lot of times my husband will come home and say, wow, you look nice. Were you filming today? You know, because that's how it is around here. So. If you are enjoying the content, comment and let me know. Even if you don't have anything to say, just give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're enjoying it so that I can be motivated because I am not monetized. I do all of this out of passion. Honestly, I do. So you supporting me by leaving a comment means so much. You guys, I have absolutely no idea how much it actually means when I know that you guys are actually enjoying and using the information that I'm providing for you guys. So, yeah, that was that was my Aquafaba video. See you later.
okay with me? Okay. 